Hello and welcome back to another Cookery Chem. It's been a few weeks since I made one of these videos, got distracted by other things. But um, I cooked the dish I'm about to cook now for the first time last weekend and uh, it really quite inspired me again. It's loosely based on a recipe from a book by um, Gennaro Contaldo and uh, Carluccio, Antonio Carluccio. Um, but I've kind of jazzed it up a bit. That one doesn't have any wine in it or chorizo in it or chilli or pimento. So I've kind of changed it a bit. So basically it's squid and chorizo in a um, tomato and red wine sauce. So there's two medium sized squid. Um, chorizo, that's probably about eight inches I guess of chorizo, taking the skin off. Uh, a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon red wine, we're going to be using about a glass of that. Tomato puree, passata, one white onion, medium, a uh, well, couple of cloves of garlic we're going to use from that bulb there. Uh, chili peppers, um, dried chili rather. We'll be using probably about a quarter of a teaspoon or a third of a teaspoon depending on your taste. Um, hot and sweet pimentum. And we'll be using again about the same amount, so about a third to a quarter of a teaspoon, something like that. Uh, dried parsley, of course you can use fresh if you've got it, I just haven't had a chance to get to the shops today. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean the squid, so again pull the wings off, scrape the um, scrape the skin off, pull the insides out, open them up, clean them, slice them, wash them under running water. So I'll do that and then I'll come back in five minutes. Okay, so there's the squid all chopped up. There's the onion finely sliced, two fat cloves of garlic. So I'm going to put the garlic and the onion into a pan with some olive oil, let it sweat for a couple of minutes. In the meantime I'll chop the chorizo, which I haven't chopped yet, but I'm just going to cut that into kind of pound coin thickness slices. Uh, I'll put the chorizo and the squid in. Uh, I've found some cherry tomatoes, so I'm going to put in probably half a dozen cherry tomatoes as well. I'll let that all cook for five minutes or so, then in with a quarter or a half a teaspoon of sweet and hot pimenton. Uh, two different pimentons there, one sweet, one hot. Um, about a third of a teaspoon of chilli flakes, some parsley, um, and then in with the uh, passata, the puree and the wine. And just let it cook then for about half an hour, three quarters of an hour. So let me get the um, onions and the garlic on and I'll come back in five. Okay, so there's the onion and the garlic sweating away. Last week when I cooked this, by the way, I had a red onion. I haven't got any red onions left, so I'm using a white onion. Uh, I think probably red onion gives it a more kind of authentic Italian, Greek feel in as much as it's authentic at all and probably it isn't. So in a minute I'm going to put the squid and chorizo in there and then let that kind of stew. That's almost there, not quite soft enough yet. So I'll give that another minute or two, then put in the squid and chorizo and I'll come back then. See you in a sec. Okay, so the squid and chorizo have been in. Um, and they've been in about five minutes, so I'm going to put the two types of pimento on him. Half a teaspoon of sweet, half a teaspoon of hot. Uh, I like chilli, so I'm going to put about the same amount of chilli in. Of course, you put less chilli flakes in if you don't like it so hot. Uh, season it with salt and pepper, then stir that around for a while. Uh, probably add some parsley, and then I'll come back. Okay, so that's all bubbling away nicely. So I'm going to put in what passato I've got. Uh, truth to tell, I would put a bit more in if I had it, but I haven't, so this is seat of the pants cooking. I'll put in what I've got, top up with water, make up the difference with a few teaspoons of tomato puree, um, probably a wine glass or two, probably about a third of that bottle, I would think, of red wine. Um, so I'll put that in and I'll come back later on after it's stewed for a while. Okay, so that's how it looks with everything in. I'm now going to just put the lid on. What kind of heat is that on? That's on a medium heat. I'll probably turn the heat down a bit, so it's on a kind of gentle simmer. Put the lid on, check it after half an hour, but last week it took about 45 minutes. So I guess it could take up to an hour or maybe a bit more depending on the age and thickness of your squid. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put the lid on, see you in half an hour or maybe three quarters of an hour. So that has been bubbling away now for about 40 minutes. Uh, I know it doesn't look hugely appetising, but believe me, it smells absolutely fantastic and tastes even better. Um, I strongly urge you to try this recipe, it's very, very good. I know it's a bit fiddly preparing the squid, I'm under no illusions about that. But it doesn't take long once you get the hang of it. And the rest of it is really straightforward. And it's really, really, really good. I'm at, it's Friday today. I'm actually going to eat this tomorrow. So I'm going to let this rest overnight and reheat it. By which time, hopefully it'll be even better. Because all the flavours will have time to come together. Um, so yeah, try it and enjoy it. 